Movies, you watch them, you love them, but that love comes at a price. The price being sitting in a dark room for a $12 to $15 fee with the option of some overpriced cholesterol to go with it. And everybody watching movies generates an insane amount of money. A single movie can make billions of dollars now. One good year in Hollywood could trump the original US highway budget. But these come with a hefty price tag since movies are an extremely expensive endeavor to get involved in. Like you see all that? Yeah, that ain't cheap. So it's a tough balancing act between how much you want to spend on a movie versus how much you're going to get back. But when it pays off, oh man, are you going to be at a financial status to get societal pressure to use your money in philanthropic endeavors. This means the people behind them have the opportunity to make some serious cash. Most notably the director, who is typically seen as the figurehead behind any given movie. So with all these fat cats lining their pockets with minimum wage employees paychecks, I'm going to break down the 10 most financially successful directors and maybe you can learn a thing or two on how to replicate their success. Also, it's important to note that financial success doesn't automatically equal quality. Like Sean Baker, you're not exactly a cash cow, but you make some good stuff. Number 10, Ridley Scott. The director behind films like Alien, Gladiator, and Blade Runner, his total box office return being over $4.3 billion. His most successful film being The Martian, which sits at a cool $653 million. Number 9, Tim Burton. The director behind films like Batman, Beetlejuice, and Big Fish, his total box office returns are over $4.4 billion. His most successful film being Alice in Wonderland, which sits at just over a billion dollars. Number 8. J.J. Abrams The guy behind films like Star Trek from 2009, Super 8, and Mission Impossible 3, his total box office return being over $4.6 billion. His most successful film being Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, which sits at over $2 billion. A movie making $2 billion? <laughs> Take that, Belize. Number 7, Christopher Nolan. The guy behind films like The Dark Knight Trilogy, Dunkirk, and Inception, his total box office returns being just under $5 billion. His most successful film being The Dark Knight Rises, sitting at nearly $1.1 billion. Number 6, James Cameron. The guy behind films like Terminator 1 and 2, Aliens, and Titanic, his total box office return being almost $6.3 billion. His most successful film being Avatar, sitting at a whopping $2.8 billion, and just so happens to be the most successful movie ever made. And what movie did it beat to earn that title? Yep, Cameron's own Titanic. I feel like it's just a game he plays with himself to keep taking the number one spot. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Number 5, David Yates. The wizard behind a plethora of films in the Harry Potter franchise, his total box office returns are over $6.3 billion. His most successful film being Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which brought in over $1.3 billion. Number 4, Michael Bay. Making films such as the Transformers series, Armageddon, and Bad Boys, his total box office returns add up to almost $6.5 billion. His most successful film being Transformers Dark of the Moon, which sits at about $1.1 billion in theaters. Number 3, Peter Jackson. The wizard behind, wait, I already used wizard, the, uh, Hobbit, I don't know, behind films such as the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the Hobbit trilogy, and the 2005 King Kong film, he was able to conjure up a sum of over $6.5 billion in theaters. His most successful film being the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, which brought in a King's Ransom of over $1.1 billion. Number 2, Anthony and Joe Russo. The directing duo behind Avengers Infinity War, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Captain America Civil War, these films are able to bring in a box office total of over $6.8 billion. Their most successful film being Avengers Endgame, which sits at nearly $2.8 billion, and for a time was the most successful movie ever made, beating Avatar, although it had a re-release and was able to take that spot back. James Cameron, you didn't want to go through the trouble of making another movie, so you took the easy route. <laughs> And the number one most successful director at the box office, Steven Spielberg. The guy behind Jaws, E.T., the Indiana Jones films, yeah, you know what he's made, you grew up with him. At the box office, he was able to pull in a great white sum of over $10.6 billion. Holy crap. 
His most successful film being Jurassic Park, which sits at just over a billion dollars. Well, the world sure does love its movies. But the amount we spend on entertainment each year should be a moment of reflection for all of us. This is money that we could use to feed the poor, fund charitable organizations, or help a family in need. Instead of just escaping for two hours, we could be helping our fellow man as they would do the same for us. I'm sorry guys, that new Top Gun looks way too good.